What's up, guys? You're watching another episode of Ball Sports. Enjoy. What's up, guys? Brandon again back at you with another episode of Ball Sports. Today we'll be going into NBA favorites. Go hit that subscribe button for me. Like the video if you would. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, all that. Much appreciated. Let me know if you need any uh, merch. I got I got cup holders. I got plaques for the walls. I got anything that you need. So uh, let me know if you guys need any of that. I'll ship them out wherever you are. Uh, don't matter. But we'll jump right into it. NBA favorites. Um, number one, I got the Bulls. Uh, obviously not the favorites to win the championship. But I think the Bulls are a strong contender this year. Uh, they've shown that they're going to be a good team. Uh, I shit on them at the beginning of the year. I was like, oh. When they made all those uh, Kyle Lowry and uh, Zach Levine, Lonzo Ball, I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna be a solid forty-one and forty-one team. But they're looking good right now, so I gotta eat my words, give them credit where credit is due. The Bulls are looking good, and uh, the team chemistry is just kind of there right now, and uh, they're playing good. Bunch of young guys, and uh, I expect them to make a good playoff run. Uh, number two, we got the Nets. Obviously, you gotta have KD, Harden, and Kyrie if he ever plays. You got to have them on there. James Harden struggling a little bit with the new NBA rules, but I expect him to figure it out, especially by the end of the season. KD, who's arguably, not even arguably, he's he's top three at least. I mean, you got to put him up there. Steph, LeBron, and uh, and KD, you got to add him on there. Uh, they got a decent bench, but those three guys or those two guys will definitely get you a deep playoff run. KD's an animal as much as I hate him. Uh, he's a great player, first battle Hall of Famer, no doubt. KD's going to make it happen. Um, you got to add the Suns in there. The Suns got Chris Paul, who's the point god is what they call him. You know, they got uh, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton. Uh, I think it's Mikhail Bridges. Uh, I might be messing that up. I, I mix him and the dude on the Hornets up a lot. Um, but they're, they're a good team. D-Book, uh, you know, he's struggling a little bit. But like I said about Harden, I think they're going to figure it out. Everybody's struggling a little bit more with these new rules this year. Um, D-Book will figure it out. And Chris Paul's the best point guard in the game, so got to give him credit. Uh, he took him far. He took him to the finals last year, and I expect him to make a deep playoff run again. The Suns are the real deal. Um at five, you got to have the Warriors. They're playing out there. Mine and Clay and uh, Kevin Looney aren't even there. Draymond's playing mediocre, but he's still one of, if not the best defenders in the league right now. Steph can still shoot from 50 feet out. You got to guard him as soon as he hits the half court line, if not before Steph's playing out his mind. He might break the three point record again. Um, so you got to give him credit. That might be the MVP of the league this year. Uh, in my opinion, it is, at least right now. The season ended right now. You got to give it to Steph Curry. He's balling out of control. Uh, when Clay gets back, that would be even more deadly. Uh, but right now, Warriors are the real threat. I think they're my number one favorite to win the championship this year. Um, and at number five, we got the Lakers. And I know it's like, oh, yeah, the Lakers are struggling. You know, they're the ninth seed, eighth seed right now. They will get it together. Give it time. I mean, you got Westbrook, LeBron, AD. You got Carmelo Anthony on the same team. DeAndre Jordan, Dwight Howard, uh, who Malik Monk, who's a dog. Uh, who else? I'm missing somebody else. You got Trevor Ariza, great defender. Uh, these guys will figure it out, man. Just give them time. I know they're struggling right now. You got a bunch of old motherfuckers on the same team. They will figure it out. Pardon my language, but they will figure it out. And they will get it done. The Lakers will be in a deep playoff run. And uh, LeBron gets full healthy and they get this team chemistry down. Um, they'll, be a, they'll be a real threat. And then I got two bonus ones. I got the Jazz because they got one of the best records right now. And they're probably the best all-around team as far as offense weighing out defense and defense weighing out offense. Rudy Gobert, probably defensive player of the year. Donovan Mitchell, who's a dog. Uh, those two just really carry the team. And they have for years now, but can they go deep in the playoffs is what I'm wondering. And my last bonus, I know you guys are probably like, wait, where are they at? Where are they at? I got the Bucks on here, okay? The Bucks are the real deal, too. Um, they just won the championship. Giannis, uh, arms long as hell. He could probably dunk on you from the free throw line. I had to put him on there. He's struggling with his free throws, and he's improved in his three-point shot. I think Giannis can make some noise this year, too. They keep adding stars, and they keep developing people. The Bucks will be really good this year. 
So my five favorites are the Lakers, Nets, Bulls, Suns, and Warriors. And then my two bonuses to watch out for got to be the Jazz and the Bucks. Let me guys know. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video, and uh, I'm out.